Hello and welcome to the Prem Kala Power Show. In this episode, we are going to make meethi butter malai. This is one of my family favorite curries to make winters. Have the goodness of the green peas, green peas blended with light aromatic spices. It is amazing. For this, we will start by blanching the meethi or fenugreek leaves. I have already heated water. Let's add the greens. Washed and roughly chopped meethi or fenugreek leaves. If you are using fresh green peas, then add it with the meethi so that it cooks well. We will cook in boiling water for three to four minutes. Let's drain it. Press it gently to remove the excess water. Our blanched green is ready. Blanching also removes the bitterness from the meethi. For the gravy, I am going to roast the whole spices. Into a pan, goes in very little oil. Next, I am going to add in some whole spices. Two cloves, few peppercorns, two small cinnamon sticks and a cardamom. Roast it for 15 seconds. Next goes in whole cashew nuts, sliced onions, chopped tomatoes, grated ginger and garlic. Stir it, just breaking this onion slices so that it cooks properly. Allow it to cook for 5 to 7 minutes. Now I'll allow it to cook for some time and then transfer it into a blender jar. Add some water and grind it to make a smooth gravy. Sauteing the whole garam masala and then blending into a gravy really makes a remarkable difference in the taste. Now into the same pan, let's add some oil and a dollop of butter, cumin and fennel seed for the tempering. A pinch of asafoetida or heek and add in our prepared gravy. Stir it and allow it to cook for another 5 minutes on medium flame. Now I am going to add fresh cream or malai. Mix it well and cook for 2 minutes on medium heat. Let's add the blanched meaty leaves, frozen green peas, salt to taste, a bit of sugar, roasted cumin powder, Mix everything well. Now I'm going to pour in a cup of warm milk. Stir it. Adjust the quantity of milk as per the consistency you like. Simmer for last two minutes and it will be done. Super creamy and flavorful curry is ready to be served. This goes well with hot rotis or naans. We'll garnish it with some kasuri methi and chili flakes. Can't resist to taste this. Since methi leaves and fresh green peas are readily available in winter season, this is the perfect time to prepare this restaurant style curry at home to enjoy with your family. Please give it a try and share your experience in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe to Action Notes. Eat healthy and stay happy. See you next time. Bye bye.